Hello people, this is Power here with a review with the Old Japan Rube DX Rube Crystal Holder. This is the holder that um, Katsumi and Isami gained when, the, when they became Rube. And it holds all their main form crystals. So obviously, um, this is the um, gross little side and the blue side. As you can see up here, it contains the Tiga Crystal. Inconsistencies, yay. Um... <laughs> So, it shows all four of the form crystals here. Here is Rosso Wind, Blue Wind, the same stuff in the bottom, and just basically what the Tiga Crystal does. So, let's take a look at it. So, here's what it literally comes with the Tiga Crystal and the Crystal Holder. We're going to look at the crystal later. Let's look at the holder itself. Um, uh, excuse me. <laughs> I have, I like how blocky it is. I really do. Wow, that that's cool. You can see blue and such. That's that's cool. Thank you, light. Um, so obviously this is the Russell side because you can see the flames and his color timer and such. But again, um, it's pretty simple. Back here. Um, obviously this is blue because the aqua, the color timer, um, the hinges. Um, this is kind of like a mini version of the, I don't want to say the gashat case. And like, it's basically the mini version of the cases like the Judenji case, the Force Astro Switch case, the gashat case, but with less clickiness. Because um, basically... All you do is open it, and that's it. Um, I don't know what happened with mine, but, like, mine's not as clicky anymore. Because there's, I don't I realize there's this gap now, and that's kind of bothering me, but, no, well. As you can see here, but you can't because of lighting, um, there are four slots for the crystals, each with a silhouette, and... Yeah, so basically, all you have to do is grab your crystal, and just insert it like that, and yeah, you're done. So, that's basically it. And then to take it out, you go to this gap, you grab the tabs, and you pull it. So yeah, obviously, um, I'm show accurate, so, or I tend to be show accurate, so um, grab Taro. Ginga, and then Tiga, obviously, then, yeah, but obviously I want to fill this fourth slot, so we're going to use Spacium Superion again, just because it's technically going to fill in victory, because of the gold, but yeah, um, the way this clicks in is by this peg, and then it just slots into this hole, um, it, it clicks, um, you might think you might not think it clicks, but it clicks. But yeah, um, obviously this gains a lot of weight after you insert crystals. So like, this is pretty light, but after you insert crystals, um, gains some weight. And like, you might be thinking like, what's the point of having this thing if it only holds four crystals? Like. It's like the fact that it's literally with this thing's actually size accurate with the crystals. It's it's kind of hard for me to think about. So obviously this is not like the Orc Fusion card holder, the Ultra Fusion card holder that it was able to hold twenty cards because obviously um, card holders can hold a lot. But um, this is this isn't bad though. I I really like it. It's blocky. And it looks nice. And again, um, I prefer this over the, um, what Jeet had. Because, like, it was cool with Donna's belt. But it's just, like, you know, I think this is kind of more practical. Because, you know, I don't know. I just kind of like the crystals more than the capsules. But anyways, <laughs> let's look into Tiga. So, here's Tiga. Let me readjust my size. Um, 
it's cool to see Tia represented with the purple, or like represented by the color purple, because he's always yellow. Since orb, but um, so obviously there's Tia multi type. Um, obviously the gyro doesn't announce that because Tia is just Tia is a form one. And focus, um, his kanji is wind, and I really like the wind background. Like this Tia crystal looks pretty nice. Um, obviously he has purple on the his horns are purple. So the blue formation, the Brussel formation. Then all of them flipped. And he is B06. So let's get a Rub Gyro. Wind! So, boy, I didn't need to do that. Um, because um, it debuted with blue first, so we're going to do the blue. Um, blue wind. And plus, I, again, I prefer blue for also design wise, but I already stated it before. So he has the wind sound. This camera really likes on focusing on this. Um, but as I really like the blue and purple mix. Anyways, obviously, because this is a form crystal, so you can do a finisher. Storm shooting. So, I should probably wait. So, the Russell formation. Uh, I gotta wait until this the star map finishes. Sounds Tika produce are amazing. I love both transmission jingles. <laughs> and Hurricane Bullet, which is a baseball move because. Katsumi is a baseball player, which is interesting. Anyways, let's get our Rube Slugger. Again, because um, Isami used it first, so I dropped Tiga. I really like the purple. Not again. So his finisher was bring her flash, which makes sense because <laughs> Flash is Dinah's thing. So I don't know, bring her bring her has to be something from Tiga. I, I don't, that's the only attack, I don't know what it's saying. Like, I'm hearing Yaru Double Slicer. Like, 
I don't know what the first word is because I know it's saying double slice, double slicer. I don't know why I'm trying to pronounce it, but I I don't know what the first word is. <laughs> Overall, I actually recommend this because it's pretty cheap on Mandarake at least. Um, basically, like obviously, you need this because it comes with the Tika crystal. Because normally these holder toys. Don't come with anything relevant at all. Like, um, Jade came with, um, Orb Emerald Slugger. Yeah, that's right. And then, um, Orb, the Ultra Fusion card holder came with Tiga Sky type. So, <laughs> I find it funny that Tiga always comes to the holders. I think that's why they probably packed him with it. Because they always, Tiga is always with the holders. That just makes sense now. <laughs> Well, most of the time at least, but yeah, I never realized that. <laughs> um, now, I'm just going to say it's kind of hard to find this individually now, and I don't know what happened with the lighting, but it's difficult to find this now individually unless you go on Mandarake and pay $12 and plus, I don't know how much we're shipping. I think, I don't have, I don't think. Shipping was applied for this one. But, um, anyways, um, you know, if you don't want to try to track this down individually and you don't think the Rube Dryer is enough, like, worth gain by itself, then I would recommend going on HLJ and buy the set because that's technically the only way you can get this, um, on HLJ. Plus, I, I'll probably say it's worth it because, you know, you get. You get three forms. You get six forms in total, and plus a holder. And technically, then you can get Rube Crystal Set Three and get all the forms. So that's cool. So I would actually probably recommend that if you just only want the four main elemental forms. Um, if you already got the Rube Dryer and such, and you're still trying to track this down, I would recommend going on Mandarake. So, yeah. That's basically it for this review. So, this is Power Rider, and I'll leave you people. Bye.